That looks very dark. Hello, it is dark. Or I'm blind, one of the two. I think it's the bulb. It's somewhere I'm not so dark. There, okay, Ooh, much better. Ooh. All right, let's see who pops on. Uh, I'm on and somebody else is supposedly on. Maybe three people. Kelly, are you around? Oh, I didn't message her. Love. Alrighty, so we tie dyed this shirt yesterday. It's still wet and it's still got spots where it's not gonna dry until I like take it apart. So I did put it outside for a bit. Hey, hey, Florence. Hello, Miss Kelly. But there's some places like you can kind of see it looks gooey with the blue. That's because there's a chunk in there, a chunk of the ink. So that's not gonna like dry for a while. And there's one right there too that I keep putting my hand in where the rubber band's at. So we're gonna open this and see what it looks like. Hello, Miss Alexis. Somebody tag Tori. Like it's not like soppy wet, it's damp. I wonder if Tor I wonder if I can tag Tori. Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I, oh, there she is. Tag. All right, so, and then we may do another project. And it, I'm not sharing this really. Hold on, let me send it to the MVPs. My MVP group, because that's where I sent it last night as well. But I didn't send it any farther out into Facebook land than that, because I didn't feel like it. All right, so we're gonna take this apart I'm sure I'm going to end up getting ink on my hands because it's all over these rubber bands and I'm going to keep these rubber bands and wash them off so I can use them again instead of having to keep buying rubber bands. You got your August transfer? Awesome. So now you need to do your piece and enter it in the, or you need to do your project and enter it into the team contest. All right, I need paper towels because I'm gonna be messy. I already know this. And then once I get this open, I'm gonna have to take it and hang it up because I can't leave it here. So I am gonna have to disappear for a minute. And I'm getting a wet wipe or two or three. Because I'm gonna get messy, I have a feeling. All right. I don't need these. These are the good ones. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what my project was gonna be if I'm doing one. I think I'm doing one, but I'm not sure about it. Kelly suggested I do another shirt, like not tie dye, but do a project on a shirt. And I will. I'm not sure I'm feeling it. All right, I'm looking for somewhere where there's not a big <laughs> pile of ink to pull this off of with. Some parts of this is very, very wet. Like I said, I've never tie dyed before. I especially have never tie dyed with our Chocotour inks. So I have no idea what this is gonna look like. And I am gonna pull off, why is that wet? Oh, cause I was, I scooped up some water. That chunk that's right there, I'm pulling off. Cause it's just gonna get on me. Kelly, did you get your transfer? A 
Okay. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to make you wait. No. I'm going to wash those. These will go in the sink to get washed. But I'm going to put them in this little towel for right now. Okay, good. Then y'all need to do your August transfers. I need to do mine again. Cross your fingers. I wondered if there's going to be a lot of white on the inside. Well, some sections are pretty darn covered. I'm trying to open this. I stuck my finger in a big pile of blue. Okay, it's not the worst, but it needed to be... Like, it's all in one spot. It's all in one spot. It's a small problem. Maybe we're going to fold this back the other way. I don't know. It's awfully wet. Yeah, it's all in the one spot where we were the top the top section. I do need a I do need a, a syringe to put it down into the little wraps. I mean, it's not the worst, but like this, the, the back has more on that side and then the front does. I don't know, it's, sec it's sections. Now it's on my hands. I almost want to take this uh, lighter green and douse it on there. Fan fold it and start it color with over underfold. Yeah, but I'm not gonna. Re I'm not gonna. I think if I go back and do anything else, it's gonna look goofy. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And in fact, this is gonna be the experimental shirt. Oh, tonight's project. Oh boy. All right, so let me let me put this on a hanger and then go throw it in the shower. I'm tempted to actually like wash this as it is. Where there's a lot of ink it's kind of stuck together, so I need to spread it apart. That turquoise, though, is really pretty. Yeah, but that means I gotta, like, make more ink colors and make more of a mess. <laughs> Kelly, you just like seeing me make a mess, because then you don't have to make it. All right. Besides, I really probably should do some uh, YouTube videos before doing some more. Look, there's a big pile of blue right there. I don't know. I don't know. Besides the fact that it's white, it could always be a sleep shirt. I don't like white shirts. 
See, there's a blob of ink right there too. What I need to do is get that little syringe and clean it up. It had pet CBD in it. So uh, let me go throw this in the shower or hang it in the shower so I don't get it on anything. Be right back. Okay. Well, that was fun making that, but it didn't turn out as much as I had hoped it would turn out. So we have to try that again. And it, the flat top's still delayed. It's so weird because I just sat down. All right. So what are we doing? Fan fold. Fan fold. I think I'm gonna watch more. I think I'm gonna watch videos. Of, I need to find that kid that does them. His are fantastic, or hers. I think it's a. I think it's a little boy. Fantastic. All right. I think. Oh no! I still got ink on me. <laughs> I keep finding it. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about with the paper fans, but I'm not sure how to possibly do that with a shirt. I don't know how to do that. Like, it's not, it's not comprehending in my head at the moment. Why did I throw that away? Because I have a whole pile. All right. That one can go over there. All right, so what are we doing tonight? So if you've joined, you probably have watched me before because I haven't shared this out anywhere. Uh, my name is Vicki. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. And we are figuring out what we're going to do tonight. I'm trying to figure out, Kelly, in my head, I'm trying to figure out how to even start a fan fold on a shirt. I just put this in the dishwasher. Hey, Miss Samantha. I feel like I have ink everywhere. Probably don't. I just feel like I do. All right, that's gonna go away. But look, it did protect our cardboard. There's only one section right there where I had any come through. Now, I'm not sure why. All right, that's going away. Now we have our little board back again. I gotta move that stuff. I may be taking apart my craft room tomorrow. Not completely, but I need to organize all that crap and all that crap. I saw, well, I ordered a, I ordered a bin and then I've got some other storage stuff on order because I need to do something. It's out of hand. All 
All right, we're just gonna play with these. I'm not gonna do all four. I may do one, I may do three, two. I don't think I'm gonna do more than that. But wouldn't I have to like fold it down more? This is, what is this? This is called a little sass. So we have, um, I can't read them. If only sac, oh, if only sarcasm burned calories. I'm sorry, did I roll my eyes out loud? Step away from the fridge. And I'm not arguing, I'm explaining why I'm right. So these are four little transfers on this B size transfer. And I really need my ruler. Cause I'm gonna cut these apart. And I'm going to put enough pressure on here to go through the actual like teal part of the screen of teal part of the screen, the transfer. But hopefully not too hard where it actually cuts the backer. That's not a good thing. Okay, that worked. Sometimes I don't know how much pressure I'm actually putting on it. Sometimes I put too much and I cut the backer and other times I don't put enough and then I have to like cut again and I end up with all these little tiny strings of transfer. It's kind of annoying. So that time I probably put too much pressure. So some designers will take scissors and cut these apart and then they have a zillion. See, I thought I put too much trans pressure and I didn't. Uh, then they have a zillion little small transfers to keep track of. That, no, I have enough problem keeping my stuff straight without having a zillion little transfers. I would much rather have them back on their original backer because if I know I'm looking for the one about rolling my eyebrows or my eyes, not my eyebrows, can't roll my eyebrows, rolling my eyes, I know it's going to be with the other one that goes with, you know, sarcasm burning calories and they were all on a B-size transfer. So then I can look through my B-size transfer if I don't remember the name of the transfer and find it. All right. So and all that, we could have just done that. So these are our three by three box frames. One side is white, the other side is brown. You can use both sides. That would be a sight to see. Yeah, me rolling my eyebrows. And these, are super cute because you can turn them into magnets. You can put a little ribbon or twine at the top and either glue it on or tack it on with a staple or like a little nail and make ornaments so they could hang. Um, you could put them on like a little stick, like glue a stick on the bottom of it and use it to like stick into like a little plant if you wanted to. Like, and there's other transfers that fit fit on these. All of our minis will fit in here as well. So like this is the back to school minis. So all of these will fit in here as well. Look at that cute little owl. I love him. So. And. Trying to figure out which one I'm doing. What should we do? <laughs> It'd be like one of those cartoons. Woo, 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 woo. Should we do sarcasm burned calories? Did I roll my eyes out loud? Step away from the fridge or I'm not arguing. I'm explaining why I'm right. What is that? Oh, I know what that is. Let's 
seriously got to get in here and clean tomorrow. And they all have like this um, kind of Victorian look to them. Oh, hi, Miss Kaylin. I'm not arguing. All right, well, I guess we're doing that one. I got two votes for arguing. So we will peel that one off of our transfer. And we're going to fuzz this. And I'm going to send this out to a couple places real quick. But to do that, I got to go to this other screen because they've changed things. And I need to go over here. I need right there. I need to come back. Okay, go back here. Oof. All right. Well, see, I got those rubber bands and that paper towel that's over on top of my laptop. I'm like, what's this? Not that I was gonna throw it away, but I moved it. And I'm like, oh yeah. All right. We'll post in there. We'll send over here. And I can't see chat because they split the screen. Well, I can't see chat while I'm doing this. I'll send it one more place. Oh, poor Miss Kaylin. Live. Okay, I sent it out to a couple places. I'm tired. All right, so we're fuzzing this. We're just putting a little fuzz on the back of it so it doesn't stick as much. The only thing I don't like about this transfer is like, like the minis will fit in that little area. These, not so much. Now, I can cut all the extra fluff off of this if I wanted to. I'm not, but I could. I have done that before on bigger transfers. In fact, the, the Kaylin knows what I'm talking about when I talk about the, um, the chickens, the big chickens, the rich rooster and the hen. It had like that much extra on the sides and it was a, a C size Pretty sure it was a C size transfer. It was big, um, but you didn't need all that. And both sides had like three or four inches that were just extra. So I cut those off. And like I said, I'm tempted to do that on here, but I'm not going to. All right. I think we're gonna put this on the. Easier to put it on the dark side. Well, I hope he's helping you pack, Miss Samantha. That's a lot of stuff to do. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it on the back on this one. And I have one right there. I have another one that I had. Out. See, this is why I need to straighten my crap that's in here. What color should I use? Black, white, or red? I'm thinking not white. I'm thinking black or red. 
Maybe both. I opened the shirt. It's in the other room. Uh, I, yeah, I hung it. So it's in the other room because I didn't want to <laughs> keep touching it. It's not perfect by any means. Yeah, see, there's too much room on here. Yeah, I'm going to use black and red. And I really can't see where I'm lining this up. So, I mean, I can see underneath it. Like, I can see the dark shape. I'm just hoping it's somewhat even. In here, I think I'm a little high on the high on the te on the trans the <sighs> high on the surface I do have a light pad that I could use to at least see the outside better but it's all right we'll figure it out yeah I'm over too far be a lot easier if I just cut all the extra crap off. We're going to go for it. <laughs> all right, we're using black and red. Black and red. Yeah, I have I won one of the light the light pads from Ken. I won from one of my uplines. It's the beauty of our team, like you can win stuff from your uplines and not just your direct up, up not just your direct upline, but your uplines, 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 and chocotour. All right, so I'm going to push down, make sure there's no bubbles in here because I really wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. And these should be not too much. Oh, yeah, I need to stir that one up. See, I sprayed water in it last time, and now it looks like it has an infection. It needs to be stirred. That's it. This is one of my old paste. It is not one of the new creamy, dreamy paste, which is why I still have a whole jar and I'm not throwing it away. It works perfectly fine. Okay, and that one stirred up and we're gonna... I am not... I'm gonna use a stir stick to stir this one up. I did put a little water in this one too. Not much. But you can win from your uplines upline. We won't talk about your upline. That's someone that doesn't exist. I'm not even sure why she's still in. All right, I am going to get, um, what's our new tools? Not that, I'm gonna get the more fine um, detail tool, this one. really tiny spots on this. <laughs> I need a teeny tiny squeegee. Yeah, well. Unfortunately, you're right. Alright, we're gonna do paste and peel on this because I can't see doing it any other way. I just can't. All 
I really thought she got busy with that other company that she joined into, and I thought she was going to disappear. But that's okay. This is really small. All right, paste and peel is pretty much the only way you can do this in multiple colors because that is a small little area. Where's my tiny one? I thought, speaking of that same person, Kaylin, I really thought one month they didn't get their personal volume in and they didn't get uh, their team commissions which that would hurt. And I'm like, well, not my issue to worry about, but whatever. So this is not um, like all the design is not even. Like it's not symmetrical. Is that the word I'm looking for? Symmetrical? It's not the same on both sides. So technically this could drive me insane. Okay, we're going to get rid of that. I'm going to peel that up. We're going to dry that, and then we're going to do the other half of it. Oop, i got to find my hair dryer. Uh, I'll message you afterwards. And you're 100% correct. Kaylin is underneath that person as her direct downline. She, because the way Chocotour does things, she can go up to her next upline and get the help that she needs and take part in uh, his contest and things like that. So you don't have to like, you're not st stuck only with your direct upline. You, when you join, all your uplines are yours. And you can join all of their team pages because it's really a big family. It's not like there's, there's not a lot of fighting because it's all a big family. And we all like to watch each other do projects and see what others come up with because everybody does stuff differently. I'm really tempted to, I'm tempted to use this other, I think it's too wiggly. That, I was thinking about using that wiggly one in there. All right, so we need to do black there. This is tiny. 
Like, we don't even have a squeegee small enough for this. Unless I use that, which that'll take forever to do. All right, that part has to be last. We're doing this. All right, that's black, that's black, that's red. So we'll just reverse it on the bottom. All right. Oof. That's annoying. It's very small. I wonder if I can do that. Well, there is a very happy cic cicada outside. He is very loud. All right. Hi, Carrie. I'm gonna dry that and then go back into the black because I don't trust myself with not making a mess. So I'm just pushing it back down on the sections that I pulled it up, and now I'm going to put the black in on those sections that I didn't get done because they're teeny tiny, and I didn't want to be dragging the other colors around. Oh my gosh, this is so small. Okay, so those that do workshops, this is not a kid-friendly workshop. <laughs> not kid-friendly. Not unless you tell them uh, one color only. This is not... Actually, it's probably not even adult-friendly because they're going to make a mess. Unless they just do one color. Which would explain why most of the ones I've seen done are just one color. All right, well, hopefully we didn't make a mess. Well, I kind of made a mess. All right, that, I'm not even gonna put in my tray because that's the only thing I have to wash and there's no reason to take my whole tray in there and wash a tray. All right, we're gonna clean this. I have one section I need to do a little touch up on. It's very cute though. Oh, I can use that. Whoa. Y'all are like chatty over there. What the heck are y'all talking about? You know why they can't count money? They don't count money. 
They put it all in the, into the phone and they don't have cash. It's all virtual banking payments, all that. They don't, they don't use good Lord. If you tried to teach them how to write a check and there are some places you can only write a check. I just, somebody posted recently that wherever they went, it was the first time they had to write a check in like 10 years. Luckily, they still had a checkbook that worked, uh, you know, that was current. And I had to do that recently someplace. Wherever I was, I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm bringing my checkbook. And I wrote a check. First time I've done that in a long time. It had been like four or five years, the last one before that. I'm like, okay. So I'm just... There's a couple of little, like if you look at the X in explain, or the E in explaining, see I got the black in there, so I'm about to put the red on top of it and kind of fix it using my teeny tiny tip of my little tool here. Although it might be best if I just put the transfer back on it. But matching it up is going to be so difficult. Like getting it exactly back where it was. It can be done, but this is just so teeny tiny. And the bottom of the eye is missing, so we're just going to give the bottom of the eye. We're going to put the bottom of the eye on there. And I'm just barely touching it with the tip of this detail tool. Trying to make sure I don't have a big, a big blob, which I just did. Yeah, common core math. That's part of the problem too. That stuff is stupid. I really feel sorry for the teachers having to teach it because it takes so much longer. Like what's the point of common core math? I don't get it. And half the time, I can look at it, not half the time, if it's an easy problem, I can look at it and do normal math in my head and have it done before somebody's even like taken and put, you know, take the 74. So we take and you put the 70 and yeah, you know, all this breaking it up. Oh my. Oh, oh, Florence. She might be best as a stalker and not a check a cashier. Okay, so I just I just did a little touch up. So here is our cute little uh the X the E is still a little messed up, but it's not as dark as it was. Uh, it's a cute little like, I'm going to do something on this side as well. So I'm probably going to put a little ribbon or twine on here and have it hang. But I'm not ready for that yet because i got to figure out what I'm putting on the other side. And I may put, I'm either going to put jute twine on it, you know, this stuff. Or I'll put a black or a red ribbon on it. So get this. Speaking of uh, self-checkout lanes somebody posted on facebook they went to the ch they went to the store they were in the self checkout lane the girl that was monitoring the lane was over doing whatever on her phone she wasn't really paying attention and so this guy starts bagging his groceries right and he's got milk and juice and some other stuff like he's got groceries right and so he's double bagging right and he takes one bag puts it in another uses two bags a lot of us do that because the bags now are really thin and break easily they're they're not like they were when they first came out where you couldn't kill them 
now they're like super thin, they break. I mean, they're supposed to be more biodegradable, but anyway. So he's double bagging, right? He takes the milk, puts it in. He takes the juice, puts it in. Double bagged, he can carry both. Otherwise, it's gonna be one for each, right? He's doing this with his groceries. He's double bagging everything, canned goods. You know, he's putting a lot of groceries in his double bags. So little miss comes over, she gets up from her phone, she comes over and she's like, you're double bagging. He's like, yeah. He's like, you're supposed to use one bag. You're, you're not supposed to double bag. You're just supposed to use one bag. And he's like, but then I'm gonna use twice as many bags. You're not supposed to, you can't double bag. You have to use one bag, but I'm gonna use more bags. It's the same amount of bags. You can't double bag. You, you, you can't, you can't use two bags. You need to, you need to do one bag. He's like, look, if I take and put one bag in another, it's two bags. If I take and put my milk in one bag and my juice in another bag, it's still two bags. Cause you can't put both in one bag cause it'll break. <laughs> like as soon as you move it, it breaks. And she's like, but you can't, you can't double bag. You have to do them individually. He's like, it's the same number of bags. She had no clue what he was talking about. She couldn't figure it out. Like it just was beyond her that it was the same number of bags that she wanted him to use for smaller. Like he'd put like four canned goods in a bag or he could double bag and put 10 in the double bags, but She's like, no, you can't double bag. You can't do that. That's not allowed. You can't do that. <laughs> He's just like, uh, go back to your phone. Anyway, she eventually went back over there and ignored him. But he was like, she didn't get it. She could not understand it was the same amount or less number of bags that would be used. And he was just like, he was dumbfounded. He was just like, I can't believe this. Like, where, what are they teaching these kids? So anyway, that was the that was the story that I I saw, and I don't remember if it was one of my friends or a friend reposted it. I can't remember. And I'm gonna just uh, maybe clean this in here. Not with that. Not with that. Uh, reminder: anytime you use red, it looks like you. Yeah slaughtered something. What? One? One item? Like one can good? They don't even put two or three? One? Oh, that's not good at all. Now, I'm not putting this transfer directly on a dry paper towel. Otherwise, it's going to stick like crazy. It is wet. Oh, geez. Yeah, that person doesn't need to be a cashier. Some people just do not need to have to deal with money. I feel sorry for the restaurant servers because usually at the grocery store, you know, you put it into the system. If you're smart, you actually do it into the system. You just don't like, you know, speed through things. But you put it into the system, you know, it's $4.12 and they gave you five. So you know that you owe them uh, 78 cents. Uh, see, math, I did that, right? Um, but you can figure that out. Or you can just put it into the system. You can put it in exactly. But the restaurant servers, like, they got to figure that out on their own and, like... Half the time, they can't even figure out that 
If someone gives you a 20 to go pay their bill and they want their change back and their bill was only four dollars and some odd cents you don't bring them back fives you bring them back ones five a couple of fives some ones because they're more likely to give you a tip using those ones they're not going to give you a five on a four dollar you know purchase but they'll give you some ones it's like i had to teach my nieces that i'm like look you do not bring big bills back i never worked at a restaurant in my life i never wanted to work with food because people are too picky all right uh-uh i am staying out of restaurants i am not gonna do that plus like you know if guys get drunk then there's the whole thing with you know being a young woman i'm like not gonna deal with that so I'm making a mess while I'm cleaning this, by the way. But I didn't want to go in the other room and clean it. This is why I go clean it in the sink, because then I don't wash all these, or I don't waste all these paper towels. Oh, I moved my trash can. <laughs> That's not good. I've been missing my trash can. <laughs> well, that's good. All right, we're gonna get the rest of this. So it's got some staining, and I'm gonna use my board eraser and get some of that extra color off of it. And some of that is the ink on the back side, which is another reason I do it in the sink, because then it all washes away. See, most of that staining went right away. Oh, that's a mess. But I didn't feel like going to the kitchen, the sink. So now I get to sit here and make a mess in here. I need a paper towel. See, it just doesn't go away, all the color. And now I got these little flaky towel things. I know my my direct upline, a lot of times she'll clean on her fuzzing cloth and her poor fuzzing cloth is just like black because she doesn't have a sink handy where she does her lives and I mean I don't have one where I do handy where I do my lives either I'm in a bedroom but it's down the hall and I'd rather clean my transfers in the sink anyway. I don't feel like I'm wasting as much. All right, that one can just dry now. And you always let your transfers dry sticky side up because otherwise it will basically be permanently stuck to whatever you put it on. If you put it with the sticky side down, don't do that. Don't do that. All right, so that's all we're doing tonight. Our cute little, our cute little sign. I may go over that E one more time with some more red. I don't want to mess it up though. All right, uh, the shirt's in the other room, so I'm not gonna go grab that for anybody that missed it earlier. I will show it again later. And I gotta watch some YouTube videos on tie dyeing better because that didn't work out so well. I mean, it's all right, but it just didn't work out perfectly. But our inks will tie-dye. All right, that's it. I am going to head on out. I will catch y'all hopefully tomorrow. Like I said, I am, if I get industrious and actually like 
start taking apart my craft room, then I may be crazy. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I need to be better organized in here, though. Have a good night. I appreciate y'all watching. Bye.